Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a story about what if powerful Naruto council bashing harem chunin exams. Before I start, please support for more amazing content and do consider subscribing to my channel and share this video with your friends. This is written by Hayao Nuzumaki and link in the description and support writer. Let's start the video. Dreamscape, all around him was darkness looking around he saw a faint reflection, but as he looked into it all, he saw a dark figure as tall as him with pale royal purple eyes filled with anger and disapproval. Curious the figure's confines shattered bringing them into the same space before it pointed behind him, making him turn to see another dark figure in a home of some kind, with the same dark figure next to him, except he was younger at the most 4 or 5, with 10 objects flowing behind him like him, and the shadowed figure next to him with an older feminine figure, was kneeling in front of him. Naruto-kun what is it you want to do? The figure asked putting her hands on the mentioned Naruto's cheek making the person watching eyes widen, Naruto. But how? He thought when he continued to listen, I want to become stronger so I can protect everyone that's precious to me and become someone great like my mom and dad Naruto said with what he could assume was a smile on his face while the older figure tilted her head. And what about me? Do I fall under that category my loving wolf? The figure said making the smaller bob its head up and down, although he could feel that he was flustered. Oh of course Kagu-chan I have to be strong enough to be your husband after all he said, making the older woman coo holding him close to her as she put him in her lap, rubbing his head. You don't need to be strong for me Naruto you already have all the strength you need, she said patting his head as the royal purple eyes closed slowly from the humming that echoed before it faded with just the humming still in existence. Turning to the shadowed figure staring at him blankly he said, why show me this and why do we share the same name? Who was that Amor so you were talking to? What's going on? The figure continued to stare at him before it said in a two-tone voice that rasped soon I will be free to make that hermit pay for what he did to me and those I love. But till then try do not to die. The shadow extended his arm with the palm facing him pushing him out with the last thing he saw was a pair of six red rings with royal purple tomo. Naruto's apartment. Ah. W what was that? Naruto said jolting awake before getting out of his bed tossing back the covers as he walked into the bathroom, ignoring the reflection before pausing and created a shadow clone. Could you make a carrot cake? I don't know why, but I have a strong craving for one in cinnamon rolls, dango and cake he said to the clone who raised a eyebrow. What no Raymond? It said making Naruto freeze in his place about to enter the bathroom. About to respond he heard in his head don't even think about it. Well it is good but eating it every day is unhealthy use what little fresh produce you have left after for a healthy breakfast. Shaking his head he said actually after you make those treats could you make some toast, scrambled eggs and sausage with some fruit. The clone raised an eyebrow before shrugging and went into the bathroom, before seeing his reflection alter to the shadowed figure, as it looked at him without his shirt and pants, wearing just boxers hearing him growl in annoyance, ugh that fucking toad cocksucker he literally ruined us. Thinking to the voice in my head Naruto responded getting in the shower wait I thought you were a dream what was that last night and who are you if I'm Naruto. The voice groaned the best response to answer that is wait till the exam and I'll answer your questions but right now I'm tired if you need help just call for me and I'll help. But that the voice faded while thought to himself who is this toad cocksucker anyway and why am I so angry. Ignoring it he got under the shower head after waiting a bit for it to get hot when he saw a few seals on his arms flicker before fading, making him raise an eyebrow. Walking out of the bathroom he grabbed his clothes feeling a strong disgust with the oversized orange jumpsuit to the point it made his stomach turn and that burning feeling in his chest rise before he saw a few scrolls written out with different names, making him turn to the clone who shrugged. Don't ask me boss I just work with what you know and somehow you know Fuinjutsu pretty well might I add anyways you might want to scarf that down and get to the academy the exam exams are about to start he said, pointing to the wall showing it was 8.45 am, meaning he had only 15 minutes to eat. The clone vanished making him hold his head before he finished off what fresh produce he owned then placed his headband around his forehead, grabbing his holster and pouch before running out of his house. Academy grounds. About time you got here dope the village's resident golden boy and pompous ass Asukicha has said in a monotone with an undertone of self-superiority due to his clan heritage, making Naruto roll his eyes. Don't start Ichiha and Sakura if you so much as mention Sasuke name and it not have anything useful attached to it, I will personally sew your mouth such with wire after I fill your throat with explosive notes. Now let's go I have the biggest migraine at the moment and I rather not have it amplified listening to the ego stroking banshee and the self-important brat Naruto said coldly brushing past them. The two stared at each other, noticing Naruto's eyes flicker from blue to purple, but thought it was just their imagination as they followed after him, not noticing the Suna team appear seeing the whole interaction. The blonde on the team thought Naruto-kun I intend on getting my answers you got me. That's tall. Seeing Sasuke limp up the stairs, Naruto couldn't help but relish in the fact he had suffered a bruised ego from the green, wearing shinobi as he thought to himself hey maybe that will deflate his ego a bit. Himitruchiha is a serious laugh. Aiming a confused expression on his face he thought why did I think that? 
you're budgeting to realize your true potential and your full skill is breaking free the voice in his head said making him groan. Right now I'm going crazy with some voice in my head oddly enough the fox hasn't spoken in a bit going on about how I should bow to his greatness, he said to himself, so the others didn't hear. I told you not to and yet you get hurt if we end up in a fight and you hold us back at you I'm not saving your ass. I hope you realize that Naruto said ignoring the glares he got before walking and missing Kakashi, who appeared as he closed the door. Dealing the killer intent from the other genin in the room, Naruto heard in his head let me show these upstarts real killer intent. From his body a thick air filled the room, making it hard for everyone to breath save for Ino, who had a look of joy form on her face when she saw him making him raise an eyebrow, while Hinata as opposed to her reserved expression. She had a look of confidence with a cold indifference towards others, but Naruto who had a love in her eyes as she gave him a grin before the two changed to their usual personalities walking towards him. Hey Naruto-kun you're nervous for the exams and wears Sasuke in forehead. Ino said making him raise an eyebrow as her did teammates. Naruto-kun what no dober witty remark or belittling comment about how my parents killed themselves to get away from me like in the academy or comparing me to my annoying teammate. Naruto said making her shake her head in an offended way. I'd never do that Naruto-kun I mean we were friends and I want that again. I'd also like it if you, me and Hinata can hang out again like old times she said, making him turn to Hinata who blushed looking at him, but remained calm nodding, making him raise his eyebrow. Except the offer our mates are re-emerging he heard in his head making him nod, causing the two to get a happy expression. Awesome we can hang out when we get a free moment during the exam she said with a smile making him nod. Give Hinata the cinnamon rolls and give Ino the slice of cake he heard making him comply which the two accepted with glee, each with a kiss to the cheek. Seeing the two walk off Joji and Shikamaru walked up to him as Shikamaru said any idea what that was about. I mean Sasu came in and she didn't so much as give him a passing glance. Doji asked following Shikamaru's question and Hinata didn't become a stuttering mess or fidget what's going on even you Naruto you seem different like when you came in and you usually give cheerful response but the question to Ino seemed out of character for you. Naruto shrugged as he said, no idea I had this crazy dream and since then I felt like some outsider in my own body, think I should take this to Ino-chan's dad. I mean he is a psychologist alongside a garden shop owner isn't he? They nodded when some kid with silver hair came saying you guys mind keeping it down. You're attracting too much attention. Shikamaru asked who are you? You may be a genin, but I haven't seen you before let alone in the village before. He chuckled saying scratching the back of his head I'm Kabuto Yakushi and the reason you haven't noticed me is because I work on the hospital mostly as a medic ninja, but judging from the looks of you all I'd say this is your first Chunin exam. He got nods from everyone when Ino asked how many times have you been in this exam Kabuto. Naruto could tell something was off with this guy when he said today will be my seventh attempt. Everyone ignored Kiba's boisterous comment when Shikamaru countered saying then this is harder than anyone thought originally. The Buto nodded saying that's right in fact I assure many of the genin in this room will be eliminated before the second exam. But besides that I also have knowledge on everyone here you give me a name I can give you their stats with ease. Pulling out a pack of orange cards with Kaji in the circle Hinata said cards. How are cards going to tell us anything? He chuckled saying these aren't just any normal cards Hyuga-san, but more so ninja info cards. By putting chakra into the card whatever is recorded into them will show a person or village's information. Anyone you want to know about. Before anyone could get information from the mysterious gen and a cloud of smoke exploded in the room blocking everyone's view and even made a few cough when in the smoke they heard alright maggots shut up and listen. The smoke dispersed showing a tall figure wearing a black leather trench coat with black pants and a shirt with his headband acting as a bandana with scars on his face when he cleared his voice saying alright maggots my name is Ibiki and I'm the one watching over you little shits for the first exam and I expect you to get your seating number and sit down where you're assigned. Not wanting to piss off the overly imposing figure everyone took their seats with Naruto sitting next to Hinata and Ino a row away next to them on Naruto's right. When he explained the rules Naruto griped in his head why Kami, do I have to do a written test I'm horrible with test. He jolted when the voice echoed in his head quit your complaining for Kami's sake. Just keep your eyes on your paper and write what I tell you for the questions. Now keep up. Looking at the paper he heard the voice feed him the answers, as Hinata kept sneaking peeks to the side eyeing Naruto as she thought to herself, and Naruto-kun is doing well despite test being his weak point. Her eyes hardened before forcing herself to focus on her own paper, when a voice said of course he is after all he is and forever will be ours once we're together again, and once we do we'll make that toad pay for what he did to not just us, but Naruto-kun by turning him into that fake imitation and Ino, by turning her into that helpless fangirl. Multitasking she asked W who was it that did this to me to you to us and why. The voice growled in her head, the toad sage for some ridiculous reason and sealed away the only person who raised Naruto-kun when he placed those seals on all of us and made Naruto the ugh dead last he is who didn't even know who we were. 
when I get my hands on him I'm going to. Anada had to cut her off from the dark thoughts the other voice in her head that's been haunting her since that dream last night, much like Naruto had, except she saw herself with more confidence and a slight attitude to her. She jumped after a while when Ibiki slammed his hands on the blackboard, saying alright brats put your pencils down because here's the tenth question. As he continued to speak about how they had a chance to back out or not, Kabuto proved to be correct, as the number of genin dropped to at least 26 teams, while the voices in Naruto and Hinata's heads told them to keep their hands down. Seeing nobody else raise their hands Ibiki said well to those who had the guts to stick around you pass. A random Kanoichi shouted wait what the fuck. What happened to the 10th question? He chuckled saying while looking in her direction, there never was a 10th question well in a sense the 10th question was part of the test to see if you were willing to go in half cocked without knowing the whole situation. Removing his headband he showed everyone his scarred head, making a lot of people gasp at the side as he continued when the voice in Naruto's head spoke up look on and embed this image into your retinas. This is the side effect of torture and interrogation. Seeing a growing shadow form in a window near the first exam proctor exploded when the shadow exploded, revealing a woman with purple hair and a pineapple hairstyle, wearing a fishnet bodysuit with a short tan skirt and an open being trench coat. On the tarp behind her that blocked Ibiki's sight read, the sexy Kanoichi Anko Midarashi. The voice in his and Hinata's head as they both thought of course Anko-chan's the same nothing changes with he behind. Ibiki who was annoyed that the suspense he built faded, said peeking his head from the side with a twitching eyebrow Anko you're early. She gave a embrace chuckle as she said before noticing the amount of genin left haha <laughs> well you see genma I can explain that wait what the hell genma there's 26 genin left you're losing your touch there. He gave a grin saying or maybe we have a stronger crop than the previous times. She gave off a snort before saying oh well it doesn't matter since my exam will cut them down by more than half. The blood thirsty grin she gave off unsettled many of the gen in present when she said alright brats meet me at training ground 44 and be on time because if you're a second late your team is disqualified. Disappearing in a shunshin Naruto, Hinata and Ino didn't need to be told twice by how serious she was as the three jumped out the window she crashed in from before the others followed after them not soon after. Training ground 44. Naruto had to think that this was just some bad horror movie with the oddly placed sign saying danger and enter at own risk posted on the fence that surrounded the forest, but it did no justice in easing their nerves despite the voices in their head telling them this was just another forest. Seeing the Kusa ninja with the grass hat on her head, Naruto heard the voice in his head making him groan, ignoring Anko oh come on, I thought you said you were going to sleep. His migraine worsened as the voice said well excuse the fuck out of me for helping you stay alive and make it this far. Now just listen for Kami's sake that woman is dangerous avoid her and if your team fights her let them it's their lives they're throwing away. He wanted to retort when he felt something sharp nick his cheek with two large and soft globes press into his back and the back of his head when he heard ah, it's little cuties like yourself that end up dying so soon. Feeling her tongue lash at the stream of blood flowing from his cheek, the voice in his head said with a purr sweet Kami I forgot how she could drive me crazy Naruto say this to her. Turning his head he said with a purr with his royal purple eyes, oh he behind, I'd much more prefer it if we we did something else that would be even sweeter. Anko had to suppress a shiver, especially when she felt him rub her inner thigh, when she felt him put something in her pocket, when the two turned to a person that sneaked up behind them, with kunai drawn to see her holding the kunai with her tongue. Sorry I guess I kinda got overly excited she said as Anko took her kunai back with a grin. You might want to be careful if this had been any other time you would be dead right now, Anko said that unsettled more of the genin than they already were. Anyways brats I need you all to sign some documents to say we are not liable for any injuries or deaths that happen during the five days you're in the forest. Once those are signed you and your team are to get your scroll by the hut, once you turn in your pamphlet and collect your scroll, which as I showed earlier, is either an earth or a heaven scroll. You have five days to get the scroll you need from an opposing team and head to the tower in the center. She said showing the pamphlet while she showed another scroll after looking around for a moment seeing Naruto and the woman with the long tongue stare at her. Oh and just a small disclaimer I suggest you don't open your scroll or scrolls until you reach the tower. But what the hell would you do is your call not mine she said as the group of 26 teams filled out the papers as team 7 was given a heaven scroll which Sasu chose to carry not that Naruto cared. Naruto Baka why were you talking to Ino Pig, the wallflower and the bimbo? Sakura screeched making Naruto flinch from the volume of her voice, making him growl. Because they're better company than you, the one-eyed cyclops and the emo bitch who complains about not being powerful enough when practically every damn ninja in the village is bending over backwards to teach him, since we were in the fucking academy. 
Naruto said with a growl bursting the same killer intent he did in the first exam hall, making her and Sasuke flinch from the glare and the harsh words. Now we're going to be stuck in a forest for five days while we're hunting for scrolls, so I'd appreciate it if you kept your damn mouth shut and it should try to keep your ego bound and gagged. I don't want your smart mouth making things harder than they already are like you did by exposing the Jinjutsu before the first exam, adding to the damn numbers of possible opponents and before you make a comment I've been known why do you think I tried to hurry past? Naruto said with a huff leaning against the fence closing his eyes. What the hell got into the dope? Sasuke asked confused as to what got into Naruto to act the way he has. I don't care so long as he doesn't get in our way Sasuke-kun. She said only to get blasted by killer intent coming eye to eye with a cold royal purple eye. I thought I told you to keep your mouth shut unless you had anything of value to talk about Sakura, do you really want me to sew your mouth shut? Or do you want me to remove your vocal cords instead like one of those annoying dogs that bark too much? Naruto said with a glare making her shake her head in a negative, making him snort before focusing on Anko. Alright kiddies the second exam is about to start. And just a word to those who heeded my warning. She started as the lights counted from red to green. Try not to die. She commanded, but it was more of a promise to Naruto seeing his team dash into the forest. Don't go dying on me Foxy you better not she thought to herself before getting comfortable on a tree branch with her reaching into her pocket, pulling out a scroll that she unsealed showing Dango making her smile before patting herself down. Oh that crafty, sexy bastard she said with a grin before biting into her Dango with moan of satisfaction at the taste. He always knew how to make some damn good tasting treats she said biting into another stick with vigor while listening to the screams from the ninja in the forest. These are the finer moments in life she thought tossing the stick at the tree making it stick with team 7. We already got both scrolls why the hell are you choosing to find more trouble? Naruto asked standing on a branch staring at Sasuke and Sakura who were against his idea of moving to the tower. Because Naruto baka if we beat more ninja the more teams are out. Sakura said getting a groan from Naruto. Okay and let me make an observation to your comment we're in a forest full of ninja who have been in these exams more times than anything, do you honestly expect them to not be strong enough to handle themselves, especially against Regenin who just formed the team some months ago with Wanichiha, who gets the bulk of training a fangirl who's content on being a meat shield, and the dead last who actually asks for help but gets brushed aside with a good for nothing sensei at that. Oh yes we've got this in the bag, Naruto said with eye roll as the two in front of him just ignored him and continued when a huge burst of wind pushed through the forest catching Naruto. Using his chakra he used it to grip a tree a little ways away from his team when the boy said that was a futon jutsu a B-class jutsu at that. Reaching his team he made it in time to see Sasuke toss both scrolls they collected to Orochimaru as opposed to the ones Naruto lifted from Anko. Sasuke what the fuck are you doing? Naruto said taking the scrolls out of Sasuke's hand, making the three present turn their focus on him. Oh what are you doing? Hand over the scrolls and we can live. Sasuke said making Naruto roll his eyes. Wow really Sasuke. First off don't you sense the energy coming off this person? This is no damn genin, and I know for fucking certain that she or might I say he might not hold his part of the deal and just kill us anyway after he takes the scrolls. Naruto said turning to the person away from them give off a hiss like laugh. Well it seems someone made a mistake with the academy records for you to be the dead last tell me boy. What ninja in history is known for using snakes alongside two others who used slugs and toads. She said giving off a deeper voice than before. First off don't bring up toads around me because I'm fucking pissed with the things and just might kill them second. You're talking about the three sanin and in the order you mentioned Orochimaru, Tsunade and Jiraiya correct? So what is one of the sanin doing here in the Chunin exams? Naruto asked getting a chuckle from the woman as she gripped her face pulling the skin off showing a pale complexion with purple pigmentation around the bright yellow eyes. Now I know something is wrong for a dead last to know so much about me and my former teammates he said, making Naruto get closer to his team. Well when I was a kid Jiji told me about the team he trained to be honest, you and Tsunade are the two I respect the most, despite your questionable actions and experiments, your skills are to be admired. You, Tsunade, Jiji and the other three Hokage are what drove me to be a ninja, if only my sensei wasn't too busy stroking the Ichiha's ego like the rest of the village, I'd actually be somewhere right now, with more than just the ability to summon an army of clones, Naruto said, getting close to Sasuke and Sakura. Oh I can see the potential you have shame your eyes say you have more power than even you're aware of yes, I just might take both of you he said, putting Naruto on edge. Sasuke Sakura just for the sake of not being assholes for once if we want to survive this we have to work together so here's the plan. Naruto Naruto whispered to them as the snake summoner bit his thumb while sliding the bloodied appendage across his arm that held a black ink tattoo. A puff of smoke caught their attention when it cleared showing a large brown snake with black marking on its underbelly, making Naruto get into a defensive position with a kunai in hand when Orochimaru said, my my, it seems your team left you for dead Naruto-kun. Alarmed he turned to the side to see Sasuke and Sakura had left making him growl fan-fucking-tastic. 
if I survive this I'm killing them counsel be damned. Wincing from the migraine the boy said be on guard I'll feed you knowledge on jutsu and such consider them instinctual lookout. Looking up he saw the snake launch itself at him making him jump over its head before following the instincts in his head as he laced the kunai with chakra, making the one in his left hand spark with wide electricity and the one in his right was flowing with wind before pushing himself off the tree, slicing the serpent with the blades, making it hiss out before disappearing. The S-rank criminal could see the unfocused haze in the boy's eyes as he grinned thinking it seems I was right about having his potential restrained and a possible backup plan for a vessel. Launching himself at Naruto he threw a right punch across Naruto's face which he ducked under before focusing his chakra into his fist and landed a blow to Rachimaru's gut, making him grunt before he was thrown back pushing him through a tree. Oh yes a lot of potential in this one. Orochimaru thought pulling himself from the Orochimaru shaped tree hollow that he made from Naruto's punch while wiping the blood that spilled from the side of his mouth. But Sasuke and Sakura. Sasuke kun do you think it was a good idea to leave Naruto alone with that guy? Sakura asked getting a huff from Sasuke. Like I care about the dope he was holding the team back and Kakashi didn't want him on the team in the first place if he dies then it's his problem. After all he was a nobody with nobody to care for him this forest is his grave, Sasuke said not looking at Sakura as they tried to make it as far away from the fight as possible. Oh Sasuke-kun that's rather cold of you to say they heard making the two stop to see Orochimaru walk from behind the tree next to them. I mean I practiced inhumane experiments on people with a smile on my face, but not even I would go against the leaf shinobi creed those who abandon a mission is trash, but those who abandon a comrade is lower, one would think a Chiha elite would stand by his comrades, but I must say for the dead last, he's holding himself pretty well against the real me. Now let's see how well you handle yourself against me he said with a grin before launching himself towards the unprepared genin. Back to the fight. Orochimaru had to give Naruto credit where it was due, even though he knew Naruto had no idea how to perform the several high power jutsu he was using or the well-timed counter-attacks. He chalked it up to him being the rare type of ninja who performed without knowing anything. Or he was just the type who acted under pressure and performed on the fly. If the moments of hesitation were anything to say as the two stood across from each other, panting with Naruto having several serious bruises and cuts, while well, Orochimaru was winded at best. I must say you've proven that the people here are rather biased of you for you to last longer than your teammates when I sent a clone after them when they ran, but I have business to attend to, so I'll leave you with a parting gift he said when the Orochimaru in front of him dissolved into mud, making Naruto turn at the last second to see Orochimaru with elongated fangs sink into his collarbone before he felt a strong pressure hit him in the gut, making him fly back through the forest. Hope you enjoy your gift Orochimaru thought before fading into the forest. But Naruto, hey get your head out of your ass you're falling to your death in the forest after that snake bastard, but a gajimfkin and a juin seal on you. Naruto heard clearly in his head making him open his eyes as he caught onto a tree branch looking around feeling a sense of deja vu here. Wait how come your voice doesn't sound weird anymore? And what's a juin seal? He asked getting a sigh. A juin seal is a curse seal one of the things Jiji told you about as a kid remember? Hibiheim has one from Orochimaru, but after he placed the Gajim Fuin on you, I could remove the taint that powers the seal giving you its advantages, and the Gajim Fuin made it easier to talk to you, granted it was an exhausting process, but now you don't have to worry he heard making him sigh in relief. Hey go into that cave. Naruto heard making him raise an eyebrow mentally. Why it's just some dank cave. As much as I hate to say it, but I gotta get to my team before Sasuke's big mouth gets him and Sakura killed he responded. Forget the damn morons and go in the Kami forsaken cave. The voice demanded making him wince from the increase in volume. Alright alright already just lower your voice it's almost worse than Sakura's Naruto said rubbing his head in annoyance. Fucking voice in my head won't even give me a straight answer Naruto said to himself. I can hear you you know. The voice said getting a growl from Naruto. It was intentional I mean since last night you've been in my head and you don't tell me a damn thing like that dream or why we have the same damn name or who that woman was or why the hell I've been on a short damn fuse. Naruto responded getting silence. All will be explained within the contents in the cave, but first focus do you feel that energy flowing through the cave? The voice said in exasperation as Naruto looked around the cave for a moment feeling a serene feeling to the area. Now that you mention it yeah I do it's nice and calming actually Naruto responded getting a grunt. Head into the cave and follow the flow of the energy and you might want to have that carrot cake on hand when you reach the source it said, making him raise an eyebrow before shrugging. Deep into the cave. Three floors there were three floors in this Kami forsaken cave and now we have a huge ass stone wall blocking where the source is. Naruto ranted in his head after running through the cave. Quit your complaining just do what I tell you and you'll have your answers the voice said, making him stick out his hand before a swirling black ball with a grey core formed as chakra wiped around from the sphere. Staring at the wall he stepped back a bit before charging Rasengan. 
As the spiraling sphere collided with the wall it continued to grind into the wall before it exploded into rubble from the force, showing a hollow point with a woman wearing a complex robe that twisted around her elegant form that was purple with red triangles at the end, with gold bands segmenting the purple and red. She had a pale complexion with soft lips and long white hair that reached her ankles with two bone-like protrusions coming from her forehead that oddly enough resembled rabbit ears to him which he found to be fitting for her. Is she the source of that chakra? Naruto asked getting a hesitant positive from the voice in his mind, if you look at her forehead you'll notice a seal just bite your thumb and smear your blood on the seal, it should break the voice instructed getting a nod as he bit down on his thumb and rubbed his bloody finger across her forehead before a shattering sound could be heard followed by a groan, stepping back as she abruptly sat up saying you foolish toad sage you mustn't tamper with Kami's prophecy. Seeing her look round before her eyes landed on him, Naruto couldn't help but be drawn in by her eyes, which were light red without pupils, and deep purple pigmentation around her eyes, making them more all the alluring. He looks like Minato when we were kids, but Minato was only with Kashina she thought before saying boy who are you, how old are you, and are you the one who removed that seal the toad sage placed on me? He stared at her trying to talk to the voice in his head hey who the hell is she hello? Getting no response he said I I'm Naruto Uzumaki, I'm 13 years old, and yes I was the one who removed the seal. Her eyes widened looking at him before her stomach growled, making the two sweat drop, as Naruto pulled out a scroll saying you um you hungry. She nodded grabbing the scroll while seeing the soft smile on his face, when she unsealed the contents revealing her favorite carrot cake. Giving her a kunai she took it cutting a slice before eating it as she said, thank you, tell me Naruto-kun do you know who your parents are or anyone important to you? He got a sad look on his face before it grew dark as he said, I never knew my parents, and I never really had anyone close to me save for Sandane Jiji, the Ichiraku family and Aruka sensei although he never really taught me anything in the academy or fix my flaws. She scowled lightly thinking that damn sage truly did block more than just his skills and abilities, but to block his memories alter his personality. Sensing the seals on him she thought to herself it's safe to say that perverted toad hasn't performed annual maintenance on those seals, but the one on his stomach and his collarbone are recent. Standing up from her sitting position she said while walking towards him without even a wasted amount of movement as she sauntered towards him rubbing his cheek with her hand. The contact felt comforting, familiar and warm as he felt his eyes close slowly when he heard her say, just rest all will be clear later. As he fell over she caught him in her arms with a small smile, as she sat down against the altar she was resting on with Naruto's head in her lap, slowly removing every seal that was placed on him. Mindscape Back in his mind that was once just a sea of darkness was now a forest overlooking a large lake with a waterfall. Well both sides were separated by light and darkness, with a moon on the dark side and a sun on the light, with the sky being that of an evening sunset between both. Whoa what is this place? Naruto said when he heard footsteps behind him making him draw a kunai. This is your or should I say our mindscape the shadowed outline in the forest said standing next to a tree on the dark side with Naruto standing on the light. What do you mean our mindscape and why did you go silent after that woman woke up? Naruto asked getting a sigh from the person in front of him standing slightly taller than Sasuke. One would think you could put the pieces together, but I assume that's because our mind is more screwed up than I originally thought because of the Toad Sage. But I guess I'll have to point this out to you, the boy said walking from the shadows until he was face to face with Naruto. Standing in front of the blonde was a boy with long waist length spiky red and black hair, with two white extensions pointing up, giving the resemblance of horns with his bangs reaching his shoulders, while one on the left side of his head came over his eye partially that had two red dots over both eyes. He wore black hakama with anbu styled sandals and a purple sleeveless kimono top with a white rope tied around his waist and five shadow tails wishing around, while the other five were red with black streaks, with matching red fox ears on top of his head, with three thick blocky rectangles, where Naruto's whisker marks rested. Who are you and why do you say our mindscape? Naruto asked getting a groan with an eye roll following soon after. It would be easier to explain everything if we relax the other Naruto said as the blonde followed as the two now sat at the edge of the lake. If you're still worried about our teammates and I can't help but wonder why when they wasted no time running, then don't in our mindscape time moves much slower. What seems like days or hours is actually a few minutes at the most he said with an eye roll at the thought about their team. Now it's best if you save any and all comments and questions for after I say everything that I have too got it he said getting a nod making him sigh. Tsukihai my pet name for Kagaya-chan, is the mother of the Sage of Six Paths, and before you speak, she fused with the Juubi and was sealed into the moon by her two children, what happened to her second son nobody knows, the darker haired Naruto said cutting off the blonde before he could speak. Now to speed things up as to why we were sealed is because Kami can't see all events that transpired after that point, and she saw that the child of prophecy would either save or destroy the shinobi way of life. 
the same prophecy that was passed down to the Biju and every summoning animal this was Kami's prophecy he started his explanation. When Kami-sama foretold this the toads told our former godfather Jiraiya their summoner about the prophecy and believed it was Minato only for him to die saving the village from Kurama. I suppose he could be considered our older brother in a sense. The darker Naruto paused seeing the blonde raise his hand. Yes. He responded just wanting to get this over with. Think you can give me the short and stiff version of it? He asked getting another eye roll from the Ritid. Fine. Our father is Minato Namaka Senju the son of Taburama Senju, and our mother is Kashina Yuzumaki Achea, the daughter of Madara Achea, connecting us to all three of the great clans in the elemental nations. The toads foretold that a child of two great warriors bearing a heavy burden would either save the elemental nations or change their way of life, Naruto started taking a deep breath. Now Kagaya Haim was removed from the Juubi and was asked by Kami and the other gods to help us and guide us as she has grown attached to us and love us. Kagaya asked to recreate the Juubi, but with us as the soul hence the tails and ears and the overly immense reserves. She was sent to elemental nations and became best friends with our parents, while gathering the other tailed beasts or more so fragments to do this, the other Naruto said, looking to his left to see the blonde soaking this all in. Now Jiraiya the perverted fucker along with his toads, broke the rule of Kami's law, no manipulation of prophecies as to maintain order. He didn't like the fact we had people who cared about us, and bonds let alone stood for the abuse of the villagers you've gone through, as I've either beaten many into the hospital or they died in there. He chose to make us a pariah, so he sealed Enoheim, Hinataheim's memories and altered their personalities, while he sealed me away and created you while placing limiters and blockers on us, in hopes of reconditioning us he said, seeing the confusion in his other half's eyes. Seals that limit whatever they're designed for those being intellect, reflex, chakra control, growth suppressors, anger blockers, and many other nasty deals where in all honesty I'm surprised you weren't a proverbial vegetable. But due to his neglect of maintenance those degraded and let me speak to you while I was forced to watch through your eyes. He explained getting a nod of understanding making him nod back. Do you have any other questions that I might not have come across in my explanation? He asked getting a nod. How do we fuse back? I can tell you aren't lying and I feel like I've known I was incomplete in some way for some reason and if there is one thing I hate is being used. He said with a growl making the other grin as the two stood up. Well then brother how about we show the elemental nations just who the hell they've been walking over the blonde's other half said with a grin which he matched as they both grasped hands before the area was caught in a blinding light. In the cave, Ug Naruto groaned but soon calmed down feeling a familiar hand comb through his hair, making him open them revealing royal purple eyes staring up at Kagaya, who had a soft loving smile on her face, which made a small one come to him, as well before he reached up cupping her cheek with his hand. Miss Yutsuki Haim he said making her eyes light up before she leaned down connecting her lips to his with a long drawn out moan before pulling back. I've missed you too Kitsune Koi so much Kagaya said giving him one last kiss before pulling back letting him stand as she did before handing him back the kunai his other self had lent her as he saw his reflection in the blade. He lost his tan almost making him as pale as Orochimaru, with his hair being like it was in his mind, except there was a few changes the horns that stuck up were a platinum blonde now with blonde ends at the end of his hair. Looking at his clothes he had to recoil in disgust, seeing the attire he was forced to wear making him scowl ugh, I may appreciate the color orange, but this much is just unhealthy, oh well shall we go Heim. She nodded as they walked out of the cave before she transformed into a white fox that jumped into his jacket as he created an illusion over himself, making him look like he had to everyone else. Let's go we have idiots to find Naruto said as he jumped to a tree branch and rocketed through the forest. But the Kanoha 12. The scene Naruto and Kagaya had arrived to be an interesting case as the two could sense the negative and foul chakra from the cave. Before them team 8, 10 and 9 all stood around the team from Odo, with one having his arms broken, it appeared with the other unconscious, while the other was visibly shaken to say the least. Sasuke was covered in markings from what appeared to be similar to the mark Naruto had on his collarbone, stalking towards the mummified Odo shinobi. Sakura was horribly battered and bruised with Mido Guy's mini-me unconscious. Sasu calmed down, Naruto said getting everyone's attention as he jumped from his perch landing a ways from his team and approached slowly. Naruto Baka where the hell were you? Sakura shouted before he turned to her slowly and drowned the area in killer intent, shaking everyone present. I don't want to hear a word from trash like you and the bastard here after the moment I appeared you decided to ditch me as I fought for my life against Orochimaru of the fucking San and be happy I'm here in the first place. If I didn't need either of you to proceed to the next exam, I'd leave you both here in the forest to die by whatever gets you and be done with the two of you Naruto said without emotion in his voice that shocked many of the genin especially with his precious Sakura. Turning to the Odo Shinobi he said, I suggest you leave 
save your scroll and go before I change my mind. I'm running awfully low on kindness at the moment, so I'd take it if I were you, Naruto said, making him nod tossing Naruto an earth scroll which he caught deftly, as he made a mental check as he swiped one set of scrolls. Then the collection they got before fighting Orochimaru and the new earth scroll they had five scrolls total. Oh why did you let my prey get away oh well I can always test my new strength on you he said, turning to Naruto making him sigh. But you had do us a favor and shut your trap before you choke on your overly inflated ego. Or maybe you'd be doing everyone a favor and drop dead from said asphyxiation him so many pros and cons, Naruto said to himself, ignoring the growling sound that came from Sasuke. You watch yourself dope before I teach you how to speak to your betters. He barked making Naruto regard him with zero interest. Well when you find someone who's my better I'd be more than happy to take your proposal into consideration. But for now I'll pass Naruto said walking over to Lee kneeling in front of him checking him over. That's it dope. Sasuke roared charging at Naruto making the genin sigh in irritation before standing again, while turning to Sasuke in time for him be right in front of Naruto with his fist extended. Leaning back and to the right he let Sasuke pass by him, before he gripped the outstretched wrist before pulling back, causing the Achiha air to go off balance before heaving, as he felt Naruto's knee embed itself into his stomach, before feeling a strong impact to his stomach from his outstretched foot. Collapsing to the ground Naruto sighed before turning to Lee's team saying he's going to be fine just some exhaustion and internal damage from whatever those Odo Genin did to him. Let him rest and he should be fine. The two nodded as Niji picked up Lee and left into the forest, before Naruto turned to the others, as Sakura stalked towards him with her fist raised, shouting Naruto Baka how dare you do that to Sasuke Kun. Turning to her causing her to go rigid from the cold glare Naruto gave her he said firstly Hirono he started it, second do keep your mouth shut before you attract more unnecessary trouble. Naruto turned to the other Genin and said so what scrolls do you guys need? The other genin stared at him with raised eyebrows before he nodded and pulled out from his front pockets, the set he swiped from Anko, the set they got in the forest, and the recently acquired earth scroll. How did you get a Sakura started before she saw his eyes narrow making her gulp? I I mean how do you have two sets of scrolls when we only fought one team and Orochimaru? She asked getting an eye roll from Naruto. If you had your head out of the Achiha's ass like the rest of the village and didn't cut me off when I tried to tell you when the exam started, I would have said that when Anko sensei tossed her kunai and got behind me, I swiped her two scrolls, Naruto explained as he sighed before turning back to the genin. So what scrolls do you need? He asked again as he presented the scrolls to the other genin which they each took one scroll leaving his team with the two necessary to advance. We better get to the tower I'd rather not run into that snake bastard again while we're here, Naruto said walking away as Ino and Hinata chased after him. Naruto aren't you going to get Sasuke-kun? Sakura asked getting silence for a while as he stopped walking. Is your love interest wouldn't he happy to know you care enough to carry him to the tower? Naruto said making the pinkette get hearts in her eyes, as she grabbed Sasuke in a rare display of strength and carried him on her back before running after them, with the others staring at each other before running after them, for a stour, well we're here but how do we get in? Choji asked as Naruto stepped forward to check out the wall that was engraved with a mural. We have to open the scrolls he said, making everyone turn to him with confusion. Oh didn't you hear what were to happen if we opened the scrolls? I mean I know you're stupid, but I didn't think you were ever this stupid Kiba said getting a Byakugan enhanced glare from Hinata, making him shrink back. Don't be stupid Inuzuka think about what Anko said if we were to open the scrolls before we got to the tower something bad would happen. We're at the tower and yet we can't find a way and it has something to do with that Naruto explained slowly, as if he was explaining to a kid. He may have a point it makes the most sense, and it could explain why we haven't run into any other genin after entering the forest, even if it's only been one day that may be proof of them opening their scrolls beforehand, Shikamaru said, getting a nod from Naruto. It's true when I ran to find those two I came across several teams that were unconscious with their scrolls open. That's what leads me to believe that this is the proper time to open them, Naruto said as he grabbed both scroll as the others did the same. On three open your scrolls he instructed getting a nod from the others. Three to one now. He said as they unraveled as Naruto noticed a seal matrix. Toss them quick. He said quickly when the scrolls opened causing the area to be covered in smoke, when it cleared the other teams down and were present save for sevens who in Kakashi's stead was Aruka. Wow you all made it an incredible time, considering it's only been a day in fact you're all the second, third, fourth and fifth teams to make it here with the Suna team, making it here first breaking the last record Aruka said, getting a bored expression from Naruto. Where's Kakashi? Naruto asked with his bored expression still in place attracting attention which said of red flags about the blonde genin. He had something to do and said he'd see you later Aruka said making Naruto roll his eyes. Of course the useless sensei can't tear himself away from his smut to even see us fucking pathetic, Naruto said with disdain, making the other genin and instructor look at him with shock. Naruto that's no way to speak about your sensei. Aruka reprimanded. Aruka sensei I'm just going to say this. The man isn't deserving of his genin title or even that of a sensei. 
since the formation of Team 7 he's had us do nothing but teamwork building exercises and spars nothing else and tree walking when he was injured during a sea turned A rank mission. When he thinks nobody is aware he takes Asuka away for additional training yet when I try asking him he says he has to focus on the Ichiha Naruto explained getting wide eyes from the older and younger ninja. Hell the fact that he entered us in this exam means he either wanted me or Sakura dead to focus solely on the damn brat or he's more disillusioned than I imagined. Hell we ran into Orochimaru and these two actually abandoned me to fight on my own where I was lucky to survive spamming shadow clones, Naruto finished causing the older ninja to turn to Sakura who withered at the glare the gathered ninja shot her. One of the few things you and the old man taught me that I remember was to give respect to those who deserve it and respect women he said getting a nod from the chunin. Seeing this Naruto said well give Haddock this message he wants respect tell him to choke on my cock while he's doing the same for the Ichiha. Walking past him ignoring the jaw dropped expressions of the ninja behind him he turned around for a brief moment, saying oh but do it slowly, he tends to be rather slow on the uptake. Making his way through the entrance guy opened he walked before he said also where will we be staying for the remainder of the second exam. Aruka shook his head saying through the five day period of the exam for the genin who make it to the tower, they have a lodging here in the tower to rest and recuperate to rest. There is also a training ground, a mess hall and an onsen for boys, girls or both if you're comfortable with each other. He nodded before walking off into the tower with the other genin following after him, as Aruka turned to the jounin is it me, or is Naruto acting outside his usual personality. I shook his head saying I don't know, but the knowledge of Kakashi being so unyouthful in training his team and his actions has greatly upset me. Gurin I nodded her head, I agree with Guy Kakashi went around bragging about how his team was powerful yet from what Naruto told us, Kakashi hasn't taught them anything of use besides the tree climbing exercise. It makes you wonder if Kakashi was talking about his team or just the Ichiha Brad Asuma said taking a drag of his cigarette, think we should inform the Hokage. I mean the acts Akura and Sasuke performed in and of themselves are worthy of at least suspension, and let's not forget Orochimaru's here in the forest at the Tachunin explained, getting a nod from the others as they vanished in a swirl of leaves or smoke. Four days later, the first round of the Chunin exam preliminaries will now commence all eyes turn to the board. Hey Jiko said after the Hokage gave his speech to the gathered genin noticing Naruto, Ino and Hinata were all close together and each had a change in personality opposite to their known actions. Another thing here is in and many others noticed was Naruto seemed to constantly keep his eyes closed with a large full smile on his face, which unsettled many in the area seeing that expression. Looking up to the board it reeled it light up showing Sasuke Chiha vs Akato Yoroi. The fight was mediocre at the best, as he used the technique he copied from Lee to beat him, after the curse seal Sasuke received started causing problems. The second round to have transpired was Shino Aburam and Zaku Abumi, who had his arm in a sling, after what Sasuke did in the forest, until he showed he was capable of using it, albeit with some difficulty. Shino won because he clogged the tubes in Zaku's arms with his clan's bugs, so when Zaku tried to go for the winning blow his arms exploded. The third match was Choji Akamichi, and he fought Dosu Kanuda and lost due to those chakra bracers on his arms, causing the water in Choji's body to vibrate, knocking him out. Round 4 was Subaku no Tamari and Tenten Higurashi, with Tenten losing due to her not having an expanded repertoire to fall back on to beat the Wind Mistress, as she was met with her back meeting the fan. Round 5 was Kintsuchi and Shikamaru Nara, and to Naruto this was a given, since the Nara was a legitimate genius who beat her by pushing her in a corner and used his shadow possession jutsu to make her bang her head into the wall behind her. Round 6 was Subaku no Kankuro and Misumi Tsurugi, with Kankuro being the winner, as he used his puppet as a decoy to bind his opponent and breaking his bones with an excellent display of puppetry. The seventh round and the most adrenaline pumping was between Rock Lee and Subaku no Gara, and despite Lee's best efforts, he couldn't win against Gara and his sand manipulation, as he slammed him into the ground and walls several times. The eighth match of the preliminary round will now commence between Sakura Haruno and Ino Yamanaka. Hey it exclaimed as Ino ignored the shrill yell of Sakura as she ran down, while Ino calmly walked down the stairs before she stood in front of the pinket. Are you ready? Once we fuse back we're stuck together as one mind and body a voice in Ino's head, getting a mental nod from the platinum blonde. Yes our lives were ruined because of that toad bastard and I want to help Naruto put him in his place. Ino said with conviction as she got a chuckle in response. Very well let's show them what happens when you fuck with Ino Yamanaka. The voice said as there was silence before the blonde's eyes flashed quickly. Hajim. Hey eight said getting out of the way as Sakura held a confident smirk on her face, while well, Ino's expression was cold and calculating. Dust you watching no pig when I win I'll show Sasuke-kun that I'm better than you. Sakura said getting an uninterested TSK from the blonde as she sighed. Sakura to be honest I hold no interest in the Ichiha I never did. 
The fact that I was manipulated into thinking I cared for the smug jackass is laughable as is but to think I'd compete for someone he'd abandon his own teammate after saving his ass is just downright sad, Eno said pulling out a kunai. And because of your senseless crush you've let yourself grow weak, which I'll show you now that the accursed seal the toad put on me has faded, Eno said, making several jown and raise an eyebrow as she tossed the kunai. Kunai cage bunch and no jutsu, kunai shadow clone jutsu, Eno announced as the single kunai multiplied into 20, making the audience go wide-eyed at the jutsu used. Jumping out of the way Sakura was about to make a remark when Ino's foot connected to the side of her head, making her spin from the momentum and the surprising force behind the blow. Letting Sakura get up she charged forward while performing the Bunshin no Jutsu, clone Jutsu, hoping that she'd distract Ino long enough to win, only for that hope to be crushed when Ino ran past her clones and hit her in the solar plexus making her heave. The fact you actually have pride in the lack of skill you possess is laughable Sakura, but I guess that's why Kakashi picked you to be on his team as an ego-stroking fangirl and not a Kinoichi. I remember you were gloating about being the second strongest on your team, and yet I've seen nothing that validates that Sakura Ino said leaning to the right as Sakura's kunai missed her. I mean besides your memory what shinobi art have you practiced in since you were put on Kakashi's team I mean he ignored Naruto-kun since the beginning, and yet in the forest he handled himself well enough to survive against a S-rank missing ninja and beat Sasuke after he went out of control from those markings on him she said catching another kunai and tossed it back nicking her in the cheek. Up in the stands, whistling Anko said wow blonde had an attitude adjustment, I may just offer her a position in Anbu T and I, with how she's literally tearing the brat down with words alone. Irizan nodded thinking Aruka and the others came to me four days ago, saying Naruto wasn't acting like himself or more so how he pretended, and now Ino is talking about a toad sealing her as she, Naruto and Hinata, have gone through a personality shift, and that flash in her and Hinata's eyes, if what I think is right, Jiraiya has a lot to answer for. But to be honest Ino-chan does raise a good point what your Jen and no Kakashi. After all not only did you beg me for this team, but also practically demanded they participate. You're already on thin ice as is for the report Aruka, and the others gave me about your neglect and favoritism. But from your expression at every time Eno calls your training into question, I have no need to ask if it's true, Hiruzen said with a steely expression making the Jounin gulp. You will report to my office after the preliminaries and will be evaluated with Inoichi performing a test to review your conduct. Prey Naruto was just blowing off steam from his team's desertion, an act that is punishable by suspension for Genin, and even worse for a shinobi of higher ranking, he advised getting a nod from the Jounin. Arena floor. Bet up Sakura or forfeit either way you will lose Eno said coldly getting a negative making her sigh as she vanished with Sakura's world going black. Winner of the 8th round is Eno Yamanaka. Hayate announced getting a nod from Eno as she walked up the stairs. The ninth round will now commence between Hinata Hayuga and Niji Hayuga. Hayate said seeing the real end on both names as both clan members came walking down the stairs in the stands. Anata Kurinai said quietly getting a pat on the arm from Ino. I wouldn't worry about her she was just like me sealed away by that toad summoner. All three of us although Naruto was a more severe case after all you and Anko were his guardians beforehand, Ino said, getting the attention of the various groups gathered. You mean? Kurinai started getting a nod. Yeah the wallflower is an altered personality made by the toad summoner, as was my fangirlish ways, including the way I dress for a 13 year old, when I had more sense than to wear bandages in place of underwear, Eno said with a dark undertone intending on removing Jiraiya's testicles. Arena floor. I suggest you give up now Hinata-sama and save yourself more embarrassment than you've already gone through, Niji said in a condescending tone, getting a snort from Hinata, how activated her by Akugan getting into the Hayuga style to Jutsu. I'd save your talk for a person person who cares cousin if you have energy to talk, then save it for the fight she said with a glare before turning to the sickly Jounin. Start the match she said getting a nod from him as he raised his hand in the air looking between the two. Hajim. He announced before jumping to the railing, avoiding Hinata who charged at Niji who couldn't react on time being hit with a palm thrust to the stomach before another to the chin, followed by a kick launching him back. Growling he activated his by Akugan charging at her as the two started a serious dejutsu battle. But every blow Niji tried to deal Hinata was avoided gracefully as she danced around her cousin with ease countering each blow. Um now cousin I thought you were a prodigy in our clan or is our house just talking out of their ass? She said making him see red as he charged her. Seeing this she started spinning as she created a dome of chakra around her Hakesho Katen, a trigram's palms revolving heaven. In the stands, since when did Hinata know the rotation? Kurinai asked Ino who seemed to know the most out of all of them. She always knew it. When we were sealed everything that made us who we were was locked as false personas were made. Me being a bitch. Hinata being a wallflower those were two examples as I for one despise fangirls with a passion, which is why I laid into Sakura so severely, Ino explained watching Niji run right into the spinning dome of chakra before he was blasted back off the dome into the wall behind him. So he actually sealed not only you and Hinata two clan heirs, but Naruto as well. 
Guy asked getting a nod, what was he like unsealed anyway? I remember him as a kid kinda, but I was hardly in the village Asuma asked, he was cold and unfeeling to people who he was indifferent towards, if you hurt people that mattered to him, he'd hunt you down like a demon possessed, and he was very compassionate and friendly to his friends me and Hinata, including a few others Eno explained getting an understanding nod, he was also as strong as a cage before he was sealed. Which we're about to see now they heard turning to see Hinata who won her match as she directed their attention to Haid. Waiting for everyone's attention he said, the final round of the preliminaries will now commence between Naruto Uzumaki and Kiba Inuzuka. Yahoo. Let's go Akamaru let's show the dope just who's number one here. Kiba said jumping off the stands and onto the floor, while Naruto was already down waiting with the same expression as before. Arena floor. Kiba just do everyone a favor and shut the hell up god, your obnoxious Naruto said as his eyes were still closed, while the mile-long smile on his face faded to a sour frown. What was that dope? The Inuzuka heir demanded getting a snort from the blonde in front of him. I mean seriously in the academy the only reason you weren't a dead last was because I couldn't perform a simple clone that had no actual use, besides being that of a simple parlor trick to entertain kids. I mean hell your Tajutsu is hardly above average even now, your ninjutsu is lacking, and your Jinjutsu usage and dispelling are as bad as mine or worse, and let's not even go into the academics Naruto said, opening his eyes before looking at his clothes. To be truthful I hold no care for the term genin of the year, prodigy, dead last or any other title people made up to inflate a person's ego beyond its limits. In the real world a prodigy goes rogue i.e. Orochimaru and Itachi, and yet a dead last found it prudent to try and control me with seals sealing me away, creating the loud mouth that had feelings for a useless bubblegum pink haired banshee, and put limiters on me that I'm surprised, didn't leave me a proverbial vegetable after all this time, he started raising his killer intent, causing everyone present to sweat, the fact that in the academy Aruka would always say he can't show favoritism is laughable, I mean I could see everything in my own mind like a one-way screen. I was the dead last wouldn't it be his job to assist a student in need. But then I remembered civilians run the academy, and the civilian that runs it is a member of the civilian council, it would be easy to make a chunin who lost his parents that horrible night to do as they say with a right threat like desecrating their graves, Naruto said, as the room began to shake from the killer intent. You see Kiba I'm a decent person I'm normally calm no matter the situation, but the fact that I was forced with a sensei who's an utter hypocrite throwing around words he doesn't mean yet has the stones to enter three gen and he hasn't seriously trained into a life-threatening exam is questionable. But I'm ranting now so I'll get to the chase here, the blonde said as the killer intent faded instantly making everything go quiet, opening his eyes partially he said I was forced to forget the people I love, my friends and all that matter to me. Every time I tried to take a shot I was denied my turn so I guess. The moment he said those words he exploded in a plume of smoke that dispelled showing the real Naruto in his place, as he finished taking off his jacket and fishnet shirt, saying I'll just have to go outside the rules then. Hey nice and can we get started. I want to put the pooch in his place, and also I do expect you to get back on your medication I put you on Naruto said, getting a nod with a small smile on his face. Removing the smile he said I would but I'm out of the medication you made. Nodding he said then I'll get to making more for you also tell me Chan I said hi it's been a while since I saw her. A sickly jown and nodded before he raised his hand in the air, looking between the angry Inuzuka air and the stoic fox like Yuzumaki. Hajim. He said jumping to the stands for the last time while Naruto stretched. I'm giving you this one chance to give up Kiba, I'd rather not embarrass you during this fight, Naruto said reaching into his kunai pouch and pulled out two as he charged them both with wind and lightning chakra, creating two blades of their respective elements as he held them in a reverse grip. Hey you may have changed your appearance with a hinge dope, but I am still the alpha here and you're just the clan less nobody with a whore for a mother and a washout of a ninja for a father. Kiba said making Naruto close his eyes before his stance changed as he crouched slightly before opening them showing cold royal purple eyes with that same smile from before. In the stance, Oh no Ino, Hinata, Kurinai and Anko said together making Asuma stare at them with a raised eyebrow. Oh no, what? What's happened? He asked confused as Anko sighed. Kurachan you might want to request for a new genin for your team, because the brat dug his grave with that remark, Anko said, getting a nod from the red-eyed Jounin. Why what did he do? Asuma with Guy just as curious as his fellow Jounin. Kiba stepped on one of Naruto's nerves. He never knew his parents personally like other children have he was only told stories about them from me, Anko, Yugao, Haid and Sandim Sama. It's why he trained so hard to be as strong as them if not stronger. For Kiba to talk down about his parents is like calling an Akamichi fat or insulting Guy's flames of youth to their face, it's just something you don't do and with good reason, Anko said getting a nod from the others. I remember how he gained his first moniker as the smiling demon. He nearly killed several civilians and shinobi from genin to jounin rank and put them in the hospital where they still remain from the mental torture and physical pain. 
There was also a small amount of ninja who killed themselves, fearing the smiling demon is still after them, Kurinai said getting wide-eyed looks from the others listening. W wait you mean that event where all those ninja were forced to retire was because of him? Asuma asked getting a nod. They even can use Jinjutsu that would make the Kurama clan envious, Kurinai said with a bit of envy herself. I just wonder how I'm going to explain Tatsum sama about her son, Kurinai said in exasperation getting a chuckle from Anko. Arena floor. You know in Yazuka I was just going to beat you, but now Naruto paused with his expression still without the slightest of change, as he put away his kunai. But now what dope? Kiba sneered as he performed one of his clan's jutsu, causing Akamaru to become a second clone of him, as Naruto sighed. I thought that would be obvious Kiba now I'm going to break you, Naruto said as he was now in between the two delivering a kick to both Kiba's heads launching them away from each other. Ah. Akamaru. Kiba said running to his partner only for Naruto to phase in front of him, while another appeared next to Akamaru. Sorry Kiba, but I know about your clan skills, and without being able to reach Akamaru your Tajutsu which was already subpar is now abysmal, since you focus mainly on techniques involving you and Akamaru Naruto said, delivering a punch to the stomach, followed by a kick to the head, making him fall to the ground. You know Kiba I always wondered if you'd be more humble after losing something precious to you, Naruto said as the room grew darker, while well, Naruto's eyes were glowing brighter, the more the room grew darker in contrast. Visibly shaken he stuttered W what are you going to do? His teeth grew sharper as his grin grew wider while he stepped back into the shadows, when the eyes and teeth grew beyond mortal limits, as Kiba heard, what am I going to do? Why that should be rather obvious don't you think? Yep. Hearing Akamaru he whipped his head around to see a large clawed hand grab his now struggling partner, as a large ten-tailed fox come from the shadows, staring down at Kiba with a giant grin. Leave Akamaru alone. He said still frozen in fear at the giant fox towering over him. That you should really watch who you make demands of boy it tends to bring about negative consequences, the large fox said as Akamaru was thrown in his mouth, making Kiba scream out for Akamaru. Ha <laughs> What's the matter boy are you afraid for your little companion? The fox said getting a painful sob in return. Well to be honest you should be more worried about yourself as you will share his fate. He said as his clawed hand made a decent towards the immobilized Inuzuka. I give up. I give up please just stop. Kiba yelled as his vision faded to white. Winner of the preliminary round final is Naruto Uzumaki. Was the last thing he heard. Reality in the stands. Did you going to open your eyes or do we have to carry you out on a gurney? Kiba heard making him open his eyes to see hate standing in front of him. WW what be but nobody was here. W where's the dope the battle isn't over. Kiba demanded as hate pointed to the stairs. That down here dope our fight isn't over. Kiba said standing up as Naruto casted him a sidelong glance. You've lost the fight Kiba. I told you I'd break you, and I did as you made the most fatal mistake a ninja can make when fighting a ninja whose skills you know nothing about Naruto said standing next to Ino and the others with a full-grown silver fox sat on his shoulder. You got arrogant and careless. The moment you looked me in the eyes I had you wrapped around my little finger trapped in a jinjutsu of my own weaving that affected everyone present shame to say. But nonetheless I trapped you in a jinjutsu that I made you see and feel what I wanted you to experience Naruto said, seeing the Inuzuka clan air still shaking slightly. I intended to put the fear of Kami into you, but then I realized if I did so I would have to explain Tatsum and Hana why their son and brother is in the mental ward at the hospital, Naruto finished as he leaned against the wall. E but you were worse than I am in jinjutsu how he said getting a snort pointing towards Kurinai and Anko. You don't just have two awesome Kanoichi in the village as your surrogate sisters and not pick up a trick or two in their profession. As I said Kiba that toad made a false persona that had no talent except monstrous reserves that were also limited from the seals placed on me, the old Naruto the village pushed around, as no more Naruto finished as he turned to Hiruzen and gave a nod. Will all remaining genin please return to the arena floor for the final announcements, Hiruzen said as the winners of their fights go down the stairs and stood in front of the Hokage as well as the Jounin. Now I would like to congratulate you all for a job well done in your match and to say before the finals, there will be a two-month reprieve to come up with new skills and techniques to impress the council and other figures who will judge you he said, getting wide eyes from some of the genin. Will the person who wins the entire finals in two months be promoted? Shikamaru asked getting a shrug. It is a likely possibility if you show skill necessary for promotion, but the fights will also show the gathering powers of your progress. Rest well, sleep and prepare for the finals. I'll see you all then he said before leaving in a swirl of leaves as did the other Jounin. Anko making eye contact with Naruto before tossing him something which he caught with a raised eyebrow as she just gave a grin before leaving, making him sigh. Well guys I'm going to go home and sleep I'm tired, Naruto said with a wave as he and the others all said their goodbyes. Hokage's office. You have a lot of explaining to do Kakashi, and I expect nothing but the absolute truth as you and my student Ureya have a lot to explain yourselves for Harrison said sitting behind his desk with a glare. Well to be honest Sandame-sama what Naruto said was all a lie. 
I did train my genin quite well in fact Kakashi started getting a short glare from his leader. Is that so Kakashi are you absolutely sure? I have Anoichi coming in a few moments to confirm your story, so if you want to come clean, I'll lessen your punishment otherwise you're only making it harder on yourself," Hiruzen said, getting a negative from Kakashi making him sigh, hearing a knock on the door as he said come in Anoichi. The door opened showing the Yamanaka clan head Anoichi Yamanaka walking into the office as he said, you wanted to see me Hokage-sama. Nodding he said yes due to some events my Jounin gave me with several genin in the preliminaries have shown not only just Kakashi, but my student have causing quite a few problems. I would like for you to go in Kakashi's mind and review, starting from the moment Team 7 formed to the present to reveal what exactly Kakashi has trained his team from independently to as a team. Leave nothing out. The clan head nodded as he forced Kakashi to his seat before performing several seals before the two slumped into the couch. Let's see just how far you've dug yourself Kakashi the Sandane thought waiting before grabbing his pipe and lighting it. Namaki's Yuzumaki estate. Again Naruto-kun thanks to those seals you've taken a considerable drop from your standard skill. So it would be best to train to get your skills back up to their standard, Kagaya said with Hinata, Ino and Anko standing nearby in a large mountainous range under a clear blue sky, with a large ladder going into the sky. Yeah, it would be nice to be back at my standard. I just wish I had acted sooner, and none of this would have happened, Naruto said doing single-handed push-up on a stone spire with a large boulder on his feet, wearing a pair of shinobi pants without his illusion. It's not your fault, Naruto-kun, you didn't know this was going to happen, Hinata said, wearing the Hayuga clan attire of shinobi pants, and a cream kimono top with lavender accents along the sleeves, collar that showed her cleavage of her D-cup breast, and the upper portion of the kimono. Yeah, it's not like you asked for any of this Naruto-kun, it's the manipulative bastards in the village that are to blame, Ino said wearing black stretch pants molding to her firm ass with a purple shirt that was cut above the breast to show her cleavage, and her firm D-cup and fishnet shirt on underneath. Exactly Ino-chan the people who try to manipulate that which is outside their control, are to blame Naruto-kun nothing more, and they will be dealt with when the time comes, Kagaya said, wearing her old shinobi attire of a royal purple kimono, with an intricate inlay of lines and tomo decorated in red with shinobi pants on underneath. After a moment of silence Naruto nodded saying I suppose you're right doesn't mean I'm not going to rip those two ninja apart when I get the chance. Nobody is stopping you Foxy Anko said wearing her usual attire, except with a pair of shinobi pants on instead of her short skirt. Hey you see Hana how is she? Naruto asked coming down from his position with a towel around his neck. When I told her that you were back to your old self she was as happy as a puppy I swear if she had a tail it would be wagging Anko said, seeing the slightly glazed look in Naruto's eyes as he had a grin on his face as did the others. Oh is Foxy imagining his Inuheim being submissive to him? She asked getting a lick of the lips from Naruto before he shook his head. And if I am she's a beautiful woman Naruto said getting a nod from the others. And so is her mom I mean the two are practically twins. And Tsum leaks milf qualities Foxy Anko added subtly as Naruto nodded subconsciously before his eyes widened, shooting the snake mistress a glare. Ooh Foxy has the hots for Hana-chan's mom so scandalous just what would Hana think of you having a thing for her mom oh? Maybe she'd be into it with the two having matching dog ears and tails. Maybe a dog collar, Ino said, getting a glare from Naruto with a twitch in his eyes. I wouldn't mind so long as mom would be into it of course she did say before Foxy got sealed away he was an absolute gentleman, his chances are high, they heard making the three girls jump, while well, Naruto grinned as he saw the Inuzuka heiress with long brown hair and a ponytail with it framing her face and large black eyes. She wears a light shade of lipstick while bearing the Inuzuka clan standard fang tattoo on both her cheeks, while wearing a pair of tight shinobi pants and sleeveless shirt with a form-fitting vest, with the front unsealed above her breast, showing her cleavage. Hey Inuheim, how are you? Naruto asked getting a bop on the head before he was brought into a kiss before she pulled back. The bop was for not coming to see me after you changed back, and the kiss is because I missed you also I do like Anko's idea of me wearing a collar the ears and tails I'd prefer to have mine from being claimed by you, she said huskily making his face turn red. Would you get me a collar Naruto-sama I'd make a wonderful pet, Hana said with a purr making the blush on his cheeks to brighten while he nodded making the others chuckle. As for mom I believe she'd go for it after she heard how you beat Kiba and handled yourself against a S rank missing ninja. I know she's more than willing, you just have to give her a bit of time to really think it over, Hana said before her and the other's stomach growled, making Naruto chuckle. I think I could consider this my break and make some lunch want to stick around Hana-chan. Naruto asked getting an excited nod. Of course I miss your cooking I know the brothers do too, Hana said as the others climbed up the ladder, before a loud explosion was heard in the distance making Hana chuckle. High level experimental jutsu. 
Hana asked getting a nod from Naruto as she chuckled seeing him scratch the back of his head with a chuckle. It would seem a bit of your false persona is still in there Ino said getting a chuckle from Naruto. What can I say old habits die hard in this case never die after all he was my other half Naruto replied as the group climbed out of the training ground. Standing at attention after climbing the ladder Naruto was tackled to the ground by three large dogs, making Naruto chuckle as he was licked relentlessly. Also someone has been really looking forward to seeing you, so you might want to come over my house later, Hana said, making Naruto to raise an eyebrow before nodding after her nink and got off of him. So Foxy what are you making? Hana asked sitting at the large table with the others getting a shrug as she saw him put on a black sleeveless kimono top before putting his hair in a ponytail. Don't know something light mostly don't want to stuff myself before I get back to training. As for going over your house I'll be sure to stop by Hana-chan, just so long as I don't see your brother the comment he made was horribly unnecessary, and the only reason I didn't turn him into a bloody smear yesterday is because I didn't want you and Tsum to hate me, Naruto explained getting a nod, remembering what Anko and Kurinai told her and Tsum after the fight. Oh don't worry Foxy honestly me and mom are getting tired of his alpha dog shit. He needs a swift kick in the ass, otherwise mom was contemplating having him exiled for his views, Hana said, making them stare at her in confusion. What views are so bad that your mom would want to exile him from the clan? Hinata asked confused about what her idiot teammate thought to make the head of the Inuzuka clan want to take such actions. It's not just mom but the elders and the other clansmen as well, myself included with how he acts. He thinks women are only meant to act as sexual relief, even if it's against their will, since he thinks women are weaker than men while holding no place in the shinobi life. The fact that more than 65% of our clan are women is insulting for us, especially since our clan is about loyalty and family. It's not just the women who are offended by his views, but the men too Hana said getting a surprised expression from the group. Wow I knew Kibble was a bastard, but to think that especially about his own family is disconcerting to say the least what's stopping you guys from booting him out of the clan anyways. Hinata asked with nearly no concern in her voice. The only reason we aren't kicking him out is because of our values of family, even if he doesn't share the same feelings as the rest of us. But at the recent meeting between clansmen mom said if he stepped out of line one more time he'd be out of the Inuzuka clan, have Akamaru taken from him, and his fangs changed to purple, the ultimate sign of disgrace for an Inuzuka Hana said, making Anko whistle. Well and not to sound like a bitch despite that being my comfort zone along with a horny and sadistic woman being my other, but from what you've said it honestly sounds like you all already written him off. I mean he isn't exactly a bleeding heart, Anko said getting a nod. To be honest we kind of already have. This isn't something we've just discussed, but rather things from long points of time, and we've already started to distance ourselves from him, although it's a slow process with me and mom. I mean we've done absolutely everything we could for him, when we weren't busy with missions or clan meetings, Hana replied, getting a nod from the others as they went silent. For a moment, lunch is ready if you're all hungry, Naruto said making the group get up, while Naruto placed three small dishes for Hana's partners on the floor. This is great. Hana said getting a chorus of agreement from the others making him scratch the back of his head in embarrassment. Well I'm just fortunate that the seals that were placed in here preserve the foods or things would be rather thin. Naruto responded when he heard a knocking at the door making Naruto stop as he got up from between Hana and Kagaya. Opening the door Naruto saw it was the Hokage with a woman with purple hair and a cat mask, wearing the Anbu attire making Naruto bow, saying it's a pleasure to see you Hokage Jiji, Yugaoni chan what can I do for the two of you today? care to come inside I just made lunch, but I can make some more for the two of you if you want. Why well, thank you Naruto that would be nice, and I may not have said this yet, but it's good to see the real you again, Hiruzen said walking in with Yugao who removed her mask, showing she had delicate features and full lips with black eyes. Gagaya san it's a pleasure to see you again, and I hope you can forgive me for not keeping a keener eye on my student he said, while well, Kagaya waved him off. It's fine Hiruzen like we told Naruto kun you couldn't have known he'd do something like that, but why are you here exactly? She asked seriously getting a chuckle from the aged leader. Well you see the tournament fights have been announced, and since me and well present here know where you two live, I figured I'd deliver the knowledge myself and tell you of the events that transpired after Inochan's father delved into Kakashi's mind. Speaking of here you go he said, pulling out four thick medium length scrolls. It's true he hadn't trained you or your other teammate Sakura at all. So as recompense for such a dangerous exam and several life-threatening instances you experienced under his guide, he had to give up several jutsu of various elements he knew, including his two personally created jutsu, Hiruzen said getting a nod making Naruto look over the large scrolls before nodding. Now as for the Chunin exam final matches the fights have been set up as so with the first round being you Naruto against the sound genin. The second round involves Hinata and Ino, the third brings Sasuke and Gara. the fourth is Shikamaru and Tamari, while the fifth is Shino and Kankuro Hiruzen said, getting a nod from the three genin, before Naruto's eyes widened before slapping his forehead getting everyone's attention. What's the matter Naruto-kun? 
Yu Gao asked getting a sigh from him. I got to go see Tamari Kami No, she's pissed since I stopped talking to her. That goes for Tsu Haim and Shizu Chan as well since I was sealed away. Why is it Kami has me attracted to women who know how to hurt me, should the need be? Naruto asked himself getting a chuckle from the group present. Maybe you did something in a past life. Kagaya said getting a chuckle from Naruto. If anything that's the most likely assumption oh well I gotta get a message out to Tsunade and let her know what has happened. I'll have to face the music with Tamari myself before the finals. Maybe I should get a cup just in case she carries that fan like a club. Naruto said with a shiver getting a chuckle from Hirazan. Afraid of a young girl Naruto. You're someone who stands above even an army of S rank ninja. How does a young girl frighten you? He asked getting a blank stare from Naruto. Even a demon with the coldest heart would fear the righteous fury of women if it was them in my place. Naruto answered sweating as he replied in a robotic voice with the girls grinning at him. But boy Hana said patting his head making him stare at her. Well she did the same with him before he huffed. Luffy said blandly making her pat his head affectionately while he rolled his eyes silently enjoying the affection. Well Naruto I expect to see you and the others on time for the finals. Otherwise you will be disqualified. Here is in war and getting a nod from Naruto and the others before Naruto snapped his fingers. Oh you Gaoni Chan here I had a clone finish the rest of Hate Nai's medicine by the finals. He should be back in top physical condition he said, getting an appreciative nod from the masked Kinoichi. Anything I should relay to him? She asked making Naruto nod. Yeah tell him to follow the same process as the last batch. Never take one on an empty stomach and he should take two a day one during the day and one at night with no alcohol. It will make him groggy at first, but that's normal with the herbs, and such I've blended them with, but he will adjust Naruto said, getting another appreciative nod, allowing the two shinobi to walk out of his home. Hey Foxy why don't you go talk to Tamari after you walk Hana here home? See if she's willing to talk with you? Anko suggested getting a chorus of nods from the other girls, while well, Naruto was silent. Come on Naruto-kun I know you're nervous, but you'll have to bite the bullet sooner or later, wouldn't you rather strike now, while well, the iron is hot, instead of waiting for the memories and doubt to fester making her regret things. Hana said making him put his head down before nodding. Yeah yeah you're right whether she wishes to continue is up to her, but I rather get this out there now, instead of having her think I'm some garbage who played with her emotions, Naruto said getting up with no small amount of confidence. That's the way Foxy go get your desert flower. Ino said supportively making him chuckle as he, Hana and her partners made it for the door with Tamari being on the other end. Hello my Tsubaku no Hana, desert flower, Naruto said getting a slap to the face, making everyone stare at her as she pushed her way in. You have a lot of explaining to do Naruto Uzumaki Ichihanamika's Senju Utsutsuki. For nearly eight years. Nearly eight years you haven't returned a single one of my letters. Then during the exams I could take the fact you didn't want to answer why or how you knew a team from another village, but after the fact you chose to just vanish after the preliminaries. I searched the village all over for your long-haired ass for an entire day, and I had to follow the Hokage while he was on his way here. Tamari said continuing to punch him before they became dull as she was now lightly pounding on his chest as her voice became ragged. Wrapping his arms around her waist while the other held the back of her head, Tamari tried to push her way from the comforting warmth that flooded her senses. I'll admit Tamari-chan that I could have said something after the preliminaries, but after all that had happened, I figured you might want to think it over after everything that was said. As for not returning your letters that was all because of the bastard toad sage Naruto said, combing his hand through her hair. D the hermit. What does he have to do with anything? Tamari asked looking up with her teal eyes glistening with tears, making Naruto growl silently. It's true Tamari Chan me and Ino were forced to have our memories blocked as were our personalities. The sage even sealed away Kagaya Chan in the forest of death we didn't change back until the second exam, Hinata supported getting a nod from the others. So you honestly expect me to believe some world-renowned pervert willingly placed seals on three clan heirs and matriarch to either lock them away or manipulate them? What for? She asked slowly believing Hinata since she was known as the honest one. He received a prophecy about someone who could alter the fate of the shinobi world by destroying it or saving it. I can't bring myself to remember because it was from the mouth of a toad with Alzheimer's, despite it being true it was a prophecy by Kami herself and it was not to be manipulated and he knew Naruto was being trained and being cared for. He wanted Naruto to be loyal to the village and not anyone else so he did what he did to all of us, Kagaya said honestly making Tamari stare into Kagaya and the other's eyes. Say I do believe you what's to stop him from trying it again. Tamari asked getting a chuckle from everyone as they pointed to the boy holding her, as his eyes were sharp with reptilian slits. Naruto-kun has a serious bone to pick with the pervert, the only reason he hasn't hunted the toad down and killed him now is because he's the village's spy master. if the Hokage didn't need him, Naruto would have killed him, Hana said, getting a nod from Naruto, as he growled at the thought of the pervert. Sorry for hitting you Naruto-kun Tamari said getting a chuckle from Naruto as he kissed her forehead. It's fine I deserved it for not coming to you after I woke back up, it was my fault he said, placing his fingers 
under her chin as he planted a soft kiss on her lips before pulling back seeing she still had her eyes closed in bliss, making him chuckle. Opening her eyes she said I have something important to tell you all the hokage too. What is so important to have to talk to the old man? Naruto said getting a sigh from her as she looked away slightly. Suna is planning an invasion during the finals. All of a sudden my dad changed and started to go around riling up the ninja at Suna about how our daimyo is giving our missions away to Konoha and stealing income. Some new village was founded and came to us for an alliance to help wage war. He was a freaky looking guy too pale skin with purple markings around his creepy yellow eyes she said, making Anko stand up while Naruto nodded. Arachimaru I knew he had more of a reason to come to Konoha for more than just my lackluster cousin. He wants to destroy the village or kill the old man it's one of the two, and neither are my utmost favorite of choices," Naruto said with a frown on his face. You do know you would have to stay here if your team or worse Orochimaru found out you told the village he's intending to attack about his plan right? This could also label you as a traitor he said getting a nod from her as she pulled out her scrolls filled with clothes and supplies. I already figured as much I just since dad changed things in the village got worse when you stopped returning my messages. I felt like I had nothing left since my little brother was turned into a psychotic killer and Kankuro is some asshole who just doesn't give a damn about anyone but himself, especially when Gar is concerned she said getting a nod from the others. Well then I guess we should get to the old man and talk with him about this so we're prepared, I'd hate to be unprepared for the impending invasion. Naruto said, getting a nod from the others, as they walked out of the compound, Okage Tower, prepare to run this by me again. You're telling me Suna is invading with the assistance of my former student. Hiruzen said getting a nod from Tamari who sighed, first my student Jiraiya and now my old student Orochimaru, I knew I should have killed him when I had the chance all those years ago, I'll have to be prepared anything major I should know. Hiruzen asked getting a nod from Tamari, Orochimaru has a couple squads of summoners who has the snake contract that will be stationed outside the village to attack. He has a personal guard squad of four shinobi each with some form of bloodline, except a redeated girl with a sharp tongue and crass language that could make a sailor blush. In the stands he will have Suna and Odo Ninja disguised as civilians to watch the matches, and some point during the match between Gara and Sasuke, he will start the invasion, which will be triggered by one massive Jinjutsu, while my brother releases the one tails to attack Konoha she explained, getting a nod from him. It seems I'll have to prepare my troops Naruto do you think you can get your clones to be prepared for the summoning squad? He asked getting a nod from Naruto. Yeah I can get some clones out tonight and place seals that will not only trap them, but also cut off their chakra. It should be rather simple in terms of other seals I've developed Naruto said, getting a nod from the elder. What about the other points? I mean the redeed sounds like a potential clansman I'll be damned if I let Orochimaru gets away with that Naruto said, getting a chuckle from Hiruzen. Don't worry Naruto I have that planned out, but what I need is for all of you to be fighting ready. Kagaya do you think you can be my guard for the finals? I'll have seals placed for Naruto to get to us and help, but we need to deal with Gara. a raging Jinchuriki is a bad idea he said, getting a nod from the others, we can do it no problem as for the fighting ready Jiji, I'll have to do that to get them ready, you know that Jiji. Naruto said getting a nod making Anko, Hana and Tamari stare at him with a raised eyebrow, what is that and why are you all being so quiet? Hana asks staring at those who are aware of what he's talking about, but Naruto-kun says that. He means his special training with a technique based off of Kagaya's technique, he creates a space with its own frame of time with enhanced gravity that will allow for a person to train more and more time, as opposed to the standard training others would. Using this in conjunction with various skills it makes us stronger. To be honest we could possibly get nearly a full year's worth of training in the special place if we do Hinata explained, making the three Kanoichi stare at him, what? It's perfectly safe I mean besides a minor disclaimer of having you grow at that span of time instead of normal, you would technically be a single year or more older than you would normally. This is accepted by us because as I told you before I'm not human and demons have their own lifespans that trump that of a normal human for an indefinite amount of years. Naruto-kun marked us all so we would live far longer than any of our friends Naruto said, making the three stare at him, what are these seals exactly? Tamari asked confused as Naruto tilted his head lightly. Gravity and resistance seals which would help with physical training making you stronger, faster and work on your stamina and endurance. But the last seal being a chakra depletion seal which will drain your reserves until you suffer chakra exhaustion at night and pushes it back in making the coils expand till you match my own or close, Naruto said, making a question mark form above the three girls' heads, seeing the blush on his cheeks. What would you be doing beforehand to make our coils match yours and by that standard why are you blushing? Hana asked confused with Anko and Tamari being just as confused, you would have to be marked by Naruto-kun here. The seal would pick up on your mark and match his own, making you develop a stronger physique, high yaokai pools, demonic qualities like claws and strong bones, and a more muscular frame. 
of course once I mark you no other man or woman's touch will feel remotely as pleasant, the thought of others being intimate with you will disgust you, and any other things that involve intimacy or coitus with other people will be disgusting to you he explained, making the three blush, while Kagaya gained a slight ting of pink form on hers. All the while the Hokage giggled before he cut him a glare making him whistle while looking away, before Naruto was turned to face the three women who each placed a kiss on his lips. We can talk tonight, Foxy Hana said with a purr before he shook his head gaining his grip on reality. For now Naruto you're all dismissed I do expect you all to be prepared for the finals and the countermeasures Hiruzen said, getting a nod from the group as they left his office. So when do we start training and what exactly would we be training in? Hana asked as Naruto scratched the back of his head before he stopped with a sigh. An Ohimaru nice attempt, but for the last time a rock doesn't have eye holes. Mogi you're holding the tarp horizontally when it should be upward, and you didn't do something about that snot bubble you're not five, Naruto said pinching the bridge of his nose, making the group of girls look around to see who he was talking to, before noticing the medium-sized rock that had a pair of eye holes. The fence was horizontal on one portion of the fence, while the other end was lateral, and the final one was a small bird with a snot bubble coming from its nose. Ah boss you always find us. They heard when the area was covered in smoke getting a series of coughs from the others. I think you use too much gunpowder for the smoke bomb, a young girl's voice said, getting a groan from the first voice when it cleared showing three children. Naruto-kun who are these three little cuties? Ino said gushing at the three kids who grinned as the three got in their signature poses. I'm Konohamaru Saratobi future Hokage of Konoha. Konohamaru said with a grin. I'm Mogi the cutest girl in the academy. She said doing a small twirl followed by a wink. And I'm Yudin I like math he said adjusting his glasses. And we're. The three kids started when Naruto gained a small grin. Mildly annoying. Naruto said making the three face fault, while Naruto had a small grin on his face. Ah oh, come on Nai-chan you promised you'd train us today and what happened to your hair? Konohamaru said making the group stare at the multicolored teen. Well for the training I have no problems with as for the last one long and overly complex, I'll tell you at another time, Naruto said, getting a nod from the three. What do you do to train them Naruto-kun? Tamari asked making the three kids stare at the women around him. Feeling a tugging on his Hakama pants he turned his attention to Konohamaru stare at him. Hey Nai-chan are they your? He said raising his pinky making him turn to see the girls stare at him before turning back to Konohamaru. Yeah they are he said, making the young boy smile. They're really pretty he whispered getting a chuckle from Naruto and the others while he cut a sly glance at the others. I know right. Naruto said getting a nod from the other two, while the girls blushed before Naruto clapped his hands. Alright we have some things to handle, so we're going to have to work on this for a moment I'll count to ten go. Naruto said as he turned around closing his eyes counting out loud, allowing the three kids to run from the alley. Now let's see where they are Naruto said kneeling to the ground pulsing his chakra before he grinned and slowly walked away the three ran as he was followed by the others. Making it to the marketplace Naruto tapped a random stranger, saying Yudin if you're going to disguise yourself at least make sure the person you're changing into isn't on the same street. From the smoke the man Yudin was changed into was replaced with a child making Naruto pat his head, making him follow the group. Walking past a fruit vendor with two cats he stopped before backpedaling as he turned his attention to the two identical calico cats, before comparing the features, when he noticed the permanent blush on the cat on the left, who tried to make a run for it, only to be stopped with Naruto gripping the scruff of the feline's neck. Nice try Mogi you almost had me if it weren't for the blush on your cheeks, Naruto said as the cat burst into smoke with Naruto now holding Mogi by the back of her shirt. Now where is Konohamaru he usually does not Konohamaru you even entertain that idea, and I'll have to explain why the old man's grandson is currently stuck with my foot up his ass currently away waiting surgery to have it removed, Naruto said simply as everyone looked up to see a large bird positioned above him with a sweat drop on its head. Hovered in smoke the young boy was seen hanging from the line before Naruto grabbed him and sat him down. Well I admit you all have improved by a decent degree when it comes to stealth and the henge transformation technique. But you could stand to work on your disguises as your natures or actions would alert the enemy if you're acting as a spy. So for you three here's your homework for the following month. I want you three to continue practicing your henge to the point you don't show who you are, so when I test you after the finals, we can see if you're ready for your next level of training," Naruto said, getting an excited nod from the three as they ran off. So Naruto-kun how about you head to Hana's house and talk to Tsum see how she's doing, Anko suggested as she and the others nodded. Alright but after that we will go and start training, so we will meet you at home," Naruto-kun Kagaya said kissing him on the lips as the others followed after her leaving Naruto and Hana. Shall we get a move on Naruto-kun? I know mom is going to be happy to see you, Hana said getting a nod from Naruto, as the group of humans and Ninkin head to the Inuzuka clan home, Inuzuka clan compound. Man I haven't been here in years so nostalgic Naruto said, getting a chuckle from the brunette making him raise an eyebrow. What? He said making her laugh harder before catching his breath as she sighed from how hard she laughed. You just sound like an old man from the way you said that. 
Come on Gramps let's go see mom and tell her of what happened she said, making him roll his eyes at her comment about his old man act and slow down young lady I ain't as limber as I was in my youth. Damn kids these days and their tight clothes and small attire I remember in my day a girl's clothes covered everything and they didn't walk around in spandex shorts or fishnet, he said grumbling, making her laugh harder from his elderly man act, opening the door to the main house for her and her family she said mom. You hear I got a surprise for you I know you're going to love. I'm in the kitchen hold on. A voice said in the aforementioned room when from the doorway out came a woman with animalistic traits much like the rest of her clan, but she had a strong similarity to Kiba. She had long spiky untamed brown hair and vertical black slit-like pupils. She wore a pair of shinobi pants with a fishnet shirt on clinging to her figure with a towel around her neck and a bottle of water in hand, close to her supple lips that was painted with purple lipstick, which was framed by the two fang marks on both cheeks. Next to her was a large wolf-like dog coming up to her hip and stood at her waist on all fours with black and white fur, with an ear and eye missing, which was covered by eye patch. Looking at Naruto Tsum said well Hana I didn't know you were seeing anybody he's a good catch, but what's the surprise, not that this isn't nice. Taking a mock sniff he said oh I'm hurting you Aoju, dog queen, I know we haven't seen each other for some time, but I thought a slightly memory would come to you. Raising an eyebrow Kurumaru sniffed him making him say it's great to see you too Kurumaru Jiji still large, and in charge are you? Taking a step back Kurumaru said, how do you know me kid? I feel like I know you, your scent is familiar, but I just can't place it. Turning to Hana she nodded as the era said mom you remember about 8 years ago a boy would come to the compound to bring injured animals to us to heal on a basis before he started coming around, regardless of an injured animal or no. He even made the two of us a promise before he went missing some time later, and a little blonde loud mouth came into the fray with the same name. Looking at him she and Kurumaru stared at him and into his eyes, before a memory flashed into their heads. Flashback, so Naruto-kun what is it you want to do when you're older? Tsum asked with Hana sitting with her as the two were substantially younger than they were currently as a young Naruto sat across from them wearing a pair of black shorts and a muscle shirt. I'm going to become stronger so one day you two will be my brides he said, making the two stare at him wide-eyed. Aren't we a bit too old for you? I mean granted you're a sweet boy, nicer than any man that's tried making a move on either of us, but we're too old for you, and why would you want us as your bride's pup? Tsum said getting a nod from her daughter, while Naruto chuckled, that's why I'm going to become a ninja and become the strongest in the village. As for why I love my precious people you, Hana-chan, Kagaya-chan and the others mean a lot to me, and I'd do anything for you all he said, making a blush form on both of their cheeks, while their partners who were listening chuckled before they received a harsh glare. So you're dead set on hooking up with an old bitch hanarito kun Fine we'll make a bet since you're so sweet. When you enter the Chunin exams you have to pass all of them and make it to at least Chunin rank. If you do this I'll take you on and be one of your mates, Hana doesn't need to test you, since you're already doing better in her books, since you treat women with respect a major attraction point in our books, since we want mates who are loyal, devoted and loving, can you hold your end of the bargain Naruto-kun? Tsum said getting a determined nod from Naruto. Just you watch Tsum-chan, Hana-chan, I'll show the two of you that I am worthy just you wait, Naruto said with conviction as he smiled at the two of them before they got up and planted a kiss on both of his cheeks, making him blush and flash back, Naruto-kun. Tsum said getting a nod from Naruto before he was slapped in the face making his eyebrow twitch. I guess it's national slap Naruto day guess I didn't get the memo wait is this for me beating Kiba or not talking to you for 8 years. He said rubbing his cheek as he stared into the eyes of the pissed in Yuzuka matriarch, where the hell did you go? Me, Hana and the others tore the village apart, looking for you only to find a blonde gaki who didn't remember anything. She said grabbing him by his shirt with him stare into her eyes with a sad smile. That blonde loud mouth was me. Sometime after that promise was made a certain toad sage sealed Kagaya-chan away, while sealing me in my own mind, while he forged a false persona without my memories or skills to take over to be molded. He did the same with Ino and Hinata, by the way what's with everyone's first reaction to take to finding me or seeing me again being to slap me. Naruto said indicating to the firm handprint that pulsed angrily on his cheek before it faded in seconds. She chuckled before growling as she said, wait a second that perverted toad did that to you, why the hell haven't you killed him yet? He shrugged saying he's the village's spy master that's the only reason I haven't ripped the flesh from his bones and used him as a hammock to sleep on. This is the only chance I'm giving him because he tries that again or forces me into anything his life will come to a rather abrupt end. It's good to see you again pup I can see you still exude that aura of a unadulterated alpha. It's more refined if anything it's greater than it was when I last saw you, Kurumaru said getting a chuckle from Naruto. What can I say when you're stuck in a tiny corner of your own mind all you can do is train and practice and reread all the books you've read in your mind while coming up with Jutsu. Is she still here? Naruto asked getting a nod from Kurumaru before he ran off into the compound. These here a high-pitched voice said when a fast pace of padded feet bound through the compound when Naruto was tackled by a black-a-gray blur. Naruto. You're here. You're here. 
you're here. I missed you so much bro. A large black and grey fox wolf mix breed with wide eyes and multiple tails and thick fur round the neck with a slim physique. It's good to see you Tutsukiyumi chan long time no see Naruto said as he sat up when the large mix breed let him up, she was a good head shorter than Kurumaru due to the fact that like all the Inuzuka Ninkan Tsukiyumi was bonded to Naruto sharing his chakra making her a demon and substantially larger than any of the other dogs in the compound save for Kurumaru himself who taught her to talk outside of a transformation. Where the hell have you been for so long big bro? Being around Uncle Kurumaru is awesome and all, but I missed my big bro Tsukiyumi said, making Naruto sigh as he directed everyone to the couch and table, explaining everything Tsum said as she directed her attention to Hana so you decided to let him mate you. Betting a blush from her Tsum grinned before directing her attention to Naruto saying well judging from how long my idiot son was griping about how the dope beat him with an illusion, it suffice to say that you'll have the exams in the bag. A if anything the greatest competition I'll have are Shikamaru in terms of intellect and planning, Tamari and Gara, due to their long range tactics, as well as Ino and Hinata, despite training with them. Everyone else is simple Naruto said getting a chuckle. There's also something you should know during the third round of the Chunin finals, Orochimaru will launch an invasion on the village with Suna. The Hokage already knows and we came up with a plan to neutralize him with the help of one of Suna's Kanoichi telling us of the plan, so we have the step ahead of him, Naruto said, getting a nod from the older woman. Well since you have everything planned, then let me give you a bit of incentive to win the exams and ensure your promotion, Tsum said gripping his shirt and pulled him into a kiss before she pulled back leaving him winded. That is incentive to try harder in the exams get promoted and I'll have a nice little treat waiting for you at your house, Tsum said with a purr making him nod absently. I'll be going with Naruto-kun during the training for the month, so we're ready for the invasion, Hana said, getting a nod from her mother. Will I get to do the same when the invasion's over? Tsum asked getting a nod from Naruto, making her give him one last kiss before they hurt. Hey mom, Hana either of you here? A familiar voice said making Naruto groan in a kiss as he pulled back reluctantly. I better get out of here because I'm in no mood to deal with Kiba's wounded pride, Naruto said as he put his hand on Tsukiyumi's back. I'll see you when you get back Hana-chan. See you Tsum chan Kurumaru Jiji Naruto said as the two vanished in a swirling vortex in time as Kiba walked in. Namak is Uzumaki estate. Hey Naruto kun your back Gagaya said seeing Naruto and Tsukiyumi reappear in the home. Kagaya chan it's great to see you. Tsukiyumi said patting towards her as she was patted on the head by Kagaya. It's great to see you too Tsukiyumi. Where's Hana? Kagaya asked as they sat at the table. When we went to Hana's house Kiba was about to walk in and I was in no mood to deal with his wounded ego. She should be on her way here in a moment Naruto said getting a nod from the others. So when Hana gets here we can go over our training for the month. Tamari asked getting a nod from Naruto. Just what are we working on for the month anyway? Tamari asked as Naruto pulled out a piece of paper. Well for the month we're going to be working on ninjutsu, tojutsu, and other techniques that will work for you all. For this month you will know hell and relish in it, as you will be even more powerful than what you could imagine, Naruto said with a grin that Kagaya copied as the others stared at them with a shiver. Hearing the door open Hana walked in with a large duffel bag and her ninkan as she said, well now we can get started with training. Just so you know when we get to the training ground Kagaya Haim and I will run each and every one of you into the ground, Naruto said as the group nodded slightly intimidated. What if powerful Naruto council bashing harem tune in exams? Thanks for watching my video till the end if you enjoy this content, then do consider subscribing to my channel and leave a like if you guys need the next part comment down and thanks for watching the video and see you guys in the next video